Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another A level tricky question. Uh, today's question comes from a Madass Maths paper. If you don't know uh, Madass Maths, it's a really good website where a guy called Trifon Madass made uh, all these amazing exam questions off his own back and has made it available for everyone to use. Um, and if this video gets lots of likes and people find it, find it useful, then I will, in the run up to the A level exams, go through as many Madass papers as I possibly can. Okay, this is a tricky question, let's get into it. Okay, two ways to do this question. Um, first off is, let's look at um, this information here. And that tells me that it's in an arithmetic sequence, so if I write them out in order, like this, then I know that there's going to be a common difference between each of them, which is the same. So let's call it x. I could then write theta as pi over 4 minus x and I could write phi as pi over 4 plus x. I could then sub in theta and phi into this equation and use a compound angle formula to simplify them down and eventually arrive at a solution. But I'm going to show you a, um, a more nifty way of doing it and that is to um, uh, make first expand these out and if I were to do that I would get sine squared theta minus two lots of sine theta sine phi plus sine squared phi and over here I would get cos squared theta plus two lots of cos theta cos phi and then uh, finally I would get cos squared phi okay we can then um, collect up and we have a sine squared plus a sine squared theta plus a cos squared theta so that's equal to 1 we have a sine squared phi plus a cos squared phi, so that's equal to 1. And then we have uh, two lots of cos theta cos phi minus sine theta sine phi. Now, hopefully we can spot that this is a compound angle it's the cosine because we know that cosine of a plus minus b is equal to cosine a cosine b minus plus sine a sine b so in this case this will simplify down to 2 plus 2 lots of it's going to be a cosine uh, and because it's a minus there it's going to swap over to be a plus inside so cosine of theta plus phi and we can drop the brackets here we don't need them and let's move the two up a bit closer okay and now we're going to use our uh, information about the arithmetic progression so if I make x the subject here of both these equations, I get x is equal to uh, theta, oh sorry, pi over 4 minus theta. And this one here I would get x is equal to um, phi minus pi over 4. And because these are both equal to x, I can set them equal to each other. So pi over 4 minus theta is equal to phi minus pi over 4. And then rearranging this so I can get theta plus phi on this side and add pi over 4 to that side. So 2 pi over 4 makes pi over 2. Okay, great. 
So now I can finish off my um, expansion here. I can get two plus two lots of uh, cos and theta plus phi is pi over two. And cos of pi over two is the same as cos of 90, which is zero. So this just gives me two. So therefore the constant k is equal to two. Okay, if you found that useful, please do like and subscribe to the channel and also share with your friends. And let me know if you find, uh, if you'd like me to do more Mad As Maths papers, I'd be keen to do that in the lead up to the pure exams. Um, bye for now.